Okay, so now for the update on what we've done after having gone through several months now of dealing with this forerunner. You saw us driving it back from Tennessee and then dealing with uh, trying to get it started and actually getting it to run smoothly. Uh, went through several different iterations of changing parts in here, you know, as we have been discussing. But the final culprit that we found out is, I know, bear with me, because I know you're going to say, duh. Well, was the distributor wires. The three wires here that go from the coils down in here over to the bank of cylinders over on the right side by the driver's side because we were having a misfire in cylinder four which is the center one on this side over here and um i was starting to think it was the injectors or maybe the fuel pump was not getting enough fuel to the injectors or some other thing was clogged or what have you and come to find out after watching another video on YouTube it was actually the distributor wires let me show you what we found out here are the old wires that we took out and on the wire boot going to cylinder number four you see this corrosion it looks like corrosion but it's actually a gap that's allowing the spark to escape from there and go to the the engine block therefore not getting any spark so that's what we've been dealing with and it was running horribly and it just kept getting worse and finally i got to the point where it was backfiring just running horribly so i parked it for a few days and came to find out it was that um, that wire, the boot. There's actually another boot here too that was showing issues with it as well right in here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I don't know. That one might have been misfiring as well on occasion, but main culprit was that cylinder four. Basically, these... This side you can see where we replaced the boots that go down into the, each of the holes here where the spark plugs are. Most difficult one is probably the one back here, but did not have to take anything off of here to get them out. Had to push some things out of the way to pull it out from the, the hole that it's in. But um, this one over here I had to reach in upside down to get it but did not have to take anything apart over there when we came over here basically if you can see this I just took this part off here and this part here took those off to get access down underneath to be able to connect the connectors to the top of those coils which Basically, right here is one of them. So, just took these two things off. It did not have to take this whole inlet hose off at this time. Because I was not doing spark plugs or anything else. I was just trying to replace those wires from the connector here over to the other side. And that resolved it. So, stay tuned as we continue... Our saga with our beloved five-speed manual shift uh, forerunner 97 and uh, hopefully this is helpful to you if so make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up and stay tuned as we keep going through this car to make it all that it's meant to be for us so far we love it been uh, working through all the issues and trying to just get it to where it is a fine running machine. 
Next, we have some suspension issues. We have the four-wheel drive issue. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be going into four-wheel drive. And then also, we want to eventually get this winch to work. The relay sounds like it's kicking off, but then nothing happens. And that's about it for now. Besides a few little quirks here and there, but that's the main gist of what's going on. So stay tuned. We're going to keep working through this. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. But make sure you subscribe and join us for our next video.